this camera set up real quick. Okie dokie. What's up, y'all? So, I don't know if you guys were here with me yesterday, but I did a few of these popsicles and I'm still very obsessed by them. I think they look so fun. They're so, they're so fun. I did not come up with this idea myself. It has been a thing for a minute, but I haven't seen a chameleon one. So, Oh, also, I got some new molds. I'm waiting on something. I'm waiting on my, um, the other half of these. It's going to be ice cream cones. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait longer. Okay. So this is going to be like the scoop of ice cream part and but I'm waiting on like the actual cone so womp can't do that today but why can't I find you guys on my this also I got these bad boys hold on Another mold. They're like funky geometric type popsicles. Ooh, this is a kind of sloppy mold, yeah? Anyways, so they're gonna have some texture to them. Pumped. Hey guys, just saw my chat so I can see you guys. Hey, hi, how are ya? I hope you're all having an awesome day. I forgot to tell you that I'm Erica and this channel is Artists Till Death. I go live every day, usually 6 p.m. Central, except for on Tuesdays, it's 2 p.m. Central. Uh, it's always artwork, usually resin, and I love seeing you guys every day. Meh. I do have my lovely assistant, Bowie Beans. Hi, Bobo. Taking a meme. -me. Please don't roll off. Please don't roll off. Please don't. Please don't roll off. Don't roll, Bo. Okay. You're adorable. Please don't roll off. Okay. Let me turn you guys around so I can get them situated. Hi, baby. Here. I want to roll this baby head. He's got the back on it, okay? All right. Um, I. Hope you've all had an awesome day. I have. Absolutely, Megan. Uh, shoot me a text about that one and I can ship it with the, uh, the acrylic painting in the back. Okay. So, first things first. We got to make some plaster, yeah? Yeah. Um, I have this plaster and the popsicle mold that I used yesterday, the red one, linked down in the description box under this video. Doink, doink, doink. It's not very expensive. Um, and I found out that you can, um, you can do something. My mind just went blank. You can, oh yeah, mix some glue into your plaster to make it more rigid, more sturdy. So, Do not add water to plaster. Okay, got to add the water first. See, so you can make it more sturdy, which is awesome because if I'm going to be selling these um, then they need to be more sturdy. Yeah, the black one is a resin one. I'm going to be making a clear one as well with casting resin, but that just wouldn't be very fun to watch. 
because, I mean, that's just better suited for a time-lapse video. All right, Cujo, come lay down. But the black one I, that I showed you guys a second ago, that one was done with a uh, quick coat. Evening, Miss Sparkle. How are you, Lori? Hi, pretty boy. Come lay down. Um, that coughing in the background is Lil Wheezy, a.k.a. Cujo, a.k.a. Baby Moo. You're adorable. Go lay down. This is Lil Wheezy. You're beautiful. Go lay down. Um, he has an enlarged heart and a trachea issue that he is medicated for, but he likes to use his cough to his advantage to get uh, my attention. And he loves to do it while I'm streaming, so apologies for that. I'm glad you are so well. How much to fill the mold with a quick coat? Evelyn, are you asking how much resin I used? because I'm not sure. I wanna say they were four ounces each, but you know, math is hard. So don't quote me. So this particular plaster is two parts water to three parts plaster or three parts water to four parts plaster. You can add more water to get a longer working time but the more water you add, the weaker your plaster sculpture will end up being. So to combat that, use glue or less water. And I always seem to end up doing this. I'm trying to squish any plaster chunks that are stuck to the bottom of the cup to the side of the cup to help them start to dissolve. So, um, if you guys are new here, hi, welcome. Where are you watching from? How's the weather there? Have you made anything awesome art style today? I need to know. Ooh, that may have been a bit much. We'll see. I wanna fill one of these geometric popsicles first. So this stuff, um, you have about three or four minutes before it starts to solidify. And then by 30 minutes, it's completely solid, which is super fun and awesome in my opinion. Needed this today, your stupid roof leaked again during a massive storm. Looks like we're getting another one tonight. Nancy, I'm so sorry. You just can't catch a break, can you? Um, do you have a package on the way, if that makes you feel any better from me? Love Orlando. I'm finishing my first resin tray today. That's awesome, Lori. Baby Moo, that's enough. Come lay down. I hope you... Um, can post that in our Eight and Beast Poor People page. I would love to see your tray. Okay, I'm putting this board under my mold because after I fill it, if I try to move it, it'll kind of adjust and move and that's not fun. Enough. Oh no, getting solid for real. That sound was cat. Could you go lay down? Good boy. Ugh, that one's a little too full. I need a cup. I need a cup. Ugh. Where 
use my this. I'm gonna use a sander to help work some of the bubbles out. Just cause it, the vibrations help to do that. That's already like fairly solid. All right. Uh, Sue, it has. It does look like ice cream. I'll send you the tracking number. I have no idea why I haven't sent you a tracking number yet, but I will send you that. Um, it does look like ice cream. And now I want ice cream. Lisa, you painted two days in a row. That's a Merzern. Question, can you color the actual mold so you're putting in the mold? I don't know what it's called. Sorry, I'm horrible. Tutor. Um, you can. Probably. I can give it a shot. I'll dust a mold. Um, After I pull those ones out, I'll dust a mold so we can see if that'll work. I don't see why it wouldn't work. It works with resin. Hi, Jacqueline. We are putting plaster in the molds to make a statue. I, I was using quick coat, but this sets up faster. And since I'm making the quick coat pieces opaque because they have a lot of bubbles in them, um, this serves the same purpose, but quicker but I will be doing some with, that is solid. I will be doing some pieces with um, a casting epoxy, but that'll be a time-lapse video because that's kind of, it'd be kind of boring for you to watch. Still working on Day of the Dead, full moon, name light my boxes and, name light boxes for my granddaughters and other things. Those sound so fun, Sue. Can't wait to see how those turn out. Oh, well, hug Gypsy for us. Thank you, Clara. Save it, it's a rock. I don't know what to do with a rock. of plaster. Uh, you can resin over these once all of the moisture has evaporated, which I would say to be safe, I would let it just set for a day. But I don't know that for sure. I'd have to look that up, how long it takes for all the moisture to evaporate out of these. And yeah, I would probably seal them first. Like maybe do them in plaster, let them air out and then like spray gesso and then something. Spray gesso and then do the resin. Oh, I wanted to try to color these. What do I have? I have this electric paint from Mixed Media Girl. Let's try this. I read that you could color it with acrylic paint because it's water-based. 
but obviously it's white, so whatever you put in there is going to pastel it out. I would mix the paint into the water first instead of doing it this way because I am really pushing it with my working time. My goodness, this makes me still want ice cream like soft serve. Get all the plaster from yesterday out. I'm gonna need to wash these out for real, but right now is not the time because we have plaster setting, people. We have plaster setting. This is so much like Froyo. enough at this point where I can just be like boop and it is all right it's not letting me bring it back out at all so what's up I just made a pink um this do you want to make one <laughs> <laughs> could you color it with sprinkles into the this? Yeah. Um, I probably wouldn't. Just because of what it's made out of. Dead gummit! I just made these and forgot to put the stick in there. So now I have like bars of soap. <laughs> Dang it. The struggle. It's so real for me today. Okay, well, let's just see what our little bars of soap look like. Aww. It'd look nice. These aren't popsicles. They don't have a stick in them. Oh, I still got some bubbles. Oh, well. Well, so I'm going to spray paint this black and then we're going to add some chameleon to it. You can glue the stick on. That's fair. Ooh, ice cream sandwiches. <gasps> or I could just sand it down a little bit and just put a stick in the middle two of these because there's no like design on the back that would be a fat popsicle um Cujo calm down what I'll probably do is put a little bit of plaster in here and the stick and then put this in there so that it like plasters together Uh, Vamp is still under the weather. No crap. Claire, you would think so. Let's give it a shot. Claire, you 
so smart. She goes just exciting tutors here. Have you guys have ever worked with porcelain, like clay? That, that's what plaster essentially feels like. It's very smooth. Okay, I'm gonna make just a little bit um, and put it in these so I can make a full popsicle with the fun geometric looking dudes. Calm down, you're beautiful. Also tutor. I'm gonna start. Calm down. Uh, Moo has no chill right now, apparently. Goosebumps with that sound. I didn't even know you guys could hear it. I'm sorry. Ooh, girl, I love an ice cream sandwich too. For real. Aren't those fun, Tudor? I couldn't believe that um, I had I success with... Huh? Well, Mixed Media Girl is a friend of mine, and so that was in that box. We were like, what is she thin? Yeah. This is new paint. No, and my sister made that. It was her first time, so I was like, hate you. I mean, I don't, but also, yeah. She just made she it. She did all of these? No, she did that one. That is her first and only one. Hopefully Vamp's watching. Often she is found in the shadows, but also I wouldn't be surprised if she was catching up on sleep or putting some of her stuff away. So, when, uh, last year when Jeff and I, Cujo, go lay down. Last year when Jeff and I were in Vegas, we went to a like a pop art, art shop, studio, store, thing, display, mm -mm, gallery, that's the word. And um, they had a whole bunch of like melting lollipops, melting popsicles, essentially what I just did, but larger and very expensive. I don't know what the medium was, I'm pretty sure it was resin. And I was like, we should do that. And I forgot about it. And then Tudor came in the other day and was like, we should. I want to make a melting popsicle out of resin. I was like, oh yeah, we should do that. Anyways, so that's why this idea came back uh, into my noggin. I've been seeing those glass pills. How does this work? Cool. Glass pills? Yeah. I don't know what's happening here, but... I'm going to take this one that isn't as tall as the other one. And put it in here. What is it, Bowie? Bowie's having a moment. Yeah, he went and got his teeth cleaned yesterday. Um, I guess I'm gonna put the rest of this in here. can make one that's like more melted than the others, I guess. I'm pretty sure I got all the orders out that I can without Jeff being here with the everything.
Oh, it's on the floor. Titan was getting nervous. He couldn't see my sister, so. Is it just regular plastic? Um, I'm not sure the different kinds, but it's falling in art plaster of Paris, five pounds. Plaster? Okay, moves. Color are we gonna do them? I have this new Dusty Rose Foil Flakes. It's like a rose gold. Um, it's from Color Passion. Go lay down. I've got my Mermaid, Midnight Mermaid Chameleons. I have Bad Apple from Too Faced. Which do you guys think I should put on these? Good job. Nice sweet. Go lay down. Um, Claire, I'm going to have to see your new video. So we'll do all of them. Okay. But it looks like Rupert enough. So I'm going to have to spray paint one black. If I'm going to do a chameleon on it and then I will do the other one with the dusty rose because I haven't ha I haven't used this yet so I'm gonna spray paint this real quick. Actually I guess I can do it right here. Um, if you're working with anything that I'm working with at home, uh, wear a respirator. Just just do it. The reason why I'm spray painting this black is because chameleons just look better on a black background. Just trust me. This is ultra flat paint, so when it's wet, it's gonna be shiny, and when it's dry, it'll be very flat. Claire's boss all the time anyways. That girl's amazing. Well, I'm gonna have to take these glovies off. Cause I don't wanna get white plaster on my black background. Um, a while back, Jeff mixed up some chameleons into an airbrush medium, but I think I feel like they have dried up. So this has got grumpy on it. Sorry about that noise till the airbrush compressor fills up, it's gonna be on. So instead of bad apple, we'll do grumpy, which is a purple blue color shift. Ooh, I also brought Mad Hatter over, but 
I am gonna airbrush. That's just more simple than trying to spray uh, a, like a spray adhesive on this and then get the powder to be even. Ugh. Whoops. Wasn't dry right there. It is an engagement ring. I didn't want to tell you guys, but I guess the cat's out on the bag. I'm engaged. I'm very excited about it. So I'm going to shake up this grumpy a little bit more. You can find grumpy on our website, artisttilldeath.com. I have all the links down in the description box under this video. Okay. Uh, restock should be good through Monday. It's a 10% off sale code. Okay. this airbrush needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Yeah, because this needle's not moving. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. I'm going to let Jeff fix this thing. We'll move on to another airbrush. Where's my something? So this is grumpy and you can mix it into resin or you can airbrush it like I'm doing right now. Just going to let that dry. In the meantime, this is what it looks like with first coat. Nice purple blue shift. Uh, Megan, I, I'm, most of the times I won't prep the um, MDFs before using acrylics. As long as your resin is opaque, you don't need to prep it. But if it's not opaque, then I would, I would prep it. Oh, 
Oh no, my little finger mark is right there from where I picked it up the first time. So I'm gonna It'll be okay. I'm gonna make it, I'll make it again. Could I make what into a ring? Oh, the color? Oh, that's true, Clara. Um, you don't want your piece to swell. You can kind of see some of the color coming through. Ugh! Please don't be messed up. Y'all, I need to just set it and forget it. Like do one and then move it. And let it dry on its own peacefully. And stop pulling a Jeff. And we'll just work on the next one while that one's drying. Cool. So, that Jimmy just made. Oh, um, sure. Um, what's next? Oh, yeah. I have no option other than using a spray adhesive. I'm gonna get everything out of the way that I don't want to be sticky because the spray adhesive is no joke. And I'm gonna need a something, a brush. Oh, okay. These ones. This is Super 77 by 3M. It is the spray adhesive that I typically use. I'm gonna just sand this down just a little bit. This is a 320 sandpaper. You really don't have to use anything that, I could probably sand this down with just regular paper. I'm gonna take a little bit of that side texture down. Silly bubble holes, but it's okay. The gold leaf or foil will cover that. All right. I need a glove for this. Y'all, let me forget I need to wear some gloves. All right. another thing you should probably wear a respirator I'm trying really hard to make sure I get everything covered in one go because it would be near impossible to add another layer of spray adhesive without covering up what we already have down. So, I'm gonna let this get tacky, which shouldn't take too long. Then this is the Dusty Rose Foil Flakes. 
So this is just like um, the foil, like gold leaf sheets that you can use with the lady on them. I'm assuming. There's that lady. So this is leaf sheets. And these are fleece. So it's starting to get a little gummy. It's a good time to start adding this. Also try to deshed your brushes so that it doesn't pull the hairs out and end up on your piece. Like this, this. I'm trying not to really varnish it in just yet. I'm trying to just coat everything first. If you try to work it in too soon, you may end up shifting your, that's a big bit, shifting your glue and then things will just be sticky and not stuck to your piece, which is not, not fun. So I'm gonna try to get everything stuck down first and then I will work it in, so to speak. This is gonna look super cute. I feel like I'm gonna do these and they're gonna end up in every newborn baby girl's room. And I'm all about that. Moving forward, I would have probably painted this a soft pink first or gold. That way, if there is any break in the foil, you won't really be able to tell. I'm just gonna kind of work in the gold and that'll make it kind of seamless about where the different pieces of gold foil start and where the next piece of foil starts. It's kind of amazing how it just kind of blends out I guess I could just be dusting this back into this jar. Waste not, want not. First time I said that, Jeff was like, that's not a real phrase. I hope you don't lose service, but be safe. Yeah, on this side, I didn't really cover it with glue that well, so I'll have to patch that, but that's okay. We'll get the idea. How fun is that? Okay, you guys want to know where Girl Cat was. She's over there. Girl Cat. Yeah. I 
I see you. Did you guys hear her? She answers to her name. So that's what it looks like with the foil. Huge fan. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do a puddle, like melting, like as if this melted, and I will put the stick into the puddle and then put this on top of said stick and then refoil it, including the stick. And then it'll look like just a solid gold, rose gold melted popsicle. Pumps. Okay. Let's clean up this carnage. And we'll see about how our chameleon piece is doing. That may be grocery delivery. Okay, boys, okay. Tudor, can you get that? Thank you. Sometimes you just gotta beat the devil out of it, you know? Wait, who said that? Tudor is so funny, he just sits in the back of the room. Clear winds. Okay. Thank you, Lori. Uh, Megan, it is drying really well. And Elisa is in Alabama. Or it's Amazon. Why does it look heavy? Let's get back to it. Which one are you looking at? Oh, the glitter one. I did not put this in the wrong one again, did I? I think I did. I got it. What? Oh. So what I would recommend is No, you'd have to Hi precious. You're beautiful. Lay down. You'd have to do it after. It's crazy how that color comes out of this liquid. Tudor, come see this chameleon one. And then once it's dry, we'll do a spray clear on it to bring the shine back because it's in a matte base. Oh, it's super futuristic on this. Right? This is what the cell phones of the future will look like. I think the purple one's gonna look like that. That iPhone 13 purple. <laughs> I was like, the purple what? I, I get it. Pretty bird.
slow most days. Dumb. It's true. That's probably the fire glass for Austin. For Austin. I know, I love this color too. Say what? Recycled? Okay. How am I going to see this? I'm going to mess it up twice in a row. Oops. Sorry for the movement, y'all. So, share, sure, share, um, Miss W, I sell the chameleons and then I just put them in a uh, medium. So if I wanted to create something with an acrylic paint, then I would use an acrylic clear medium. But for this, I used um, a clear medium for airbrush, which is... It's my golden, I don't know where the bottle is, but it's a, it's a kind of a milky color, but it's a clear-ish. Um, medium that makes it sprayable. Let me turn the light off. Oh, I thought you'd be able to see more of the colors with the light off. Uh, yeah, you can put them in acrylics. You just have to use um, a medium for that. So just what I said I'm going to do with the uh, dusty rose, I'm going to do that with this one. I'm going to put just a popsicle stick in a puddle. And then lay it like this in it so it looks like it's melting from this since the back of it's plain. Sweet. Very sorry about that. I got a call. So, I guess you just, oh, all right. Oh, yeah, of course you can. Um, micas are very versatile. You can use them with almost any medium as long as you have a... Uh, a binder. I want one of these. What do you think about my gold one? Is that the uh, the new? Oh, Dusty Rose. Gosh. Are you gonna put anything on top of it? Got a patch. I need to fix that, but I'm going to create a puddle, make it this color, and then. No, I'm going to create a puddle, put this in it with a stick, and then make it all this color so it looks like mm -hmm. it just melted flat like that, since you can't see the back of it. Well, that's kind of good. So this is the one we decided to kind of Frankenstein together, which looks like it worked pretty well. I mean, my stick's kind of off, but who's going to pay attention to that? I'm just going to try to get rid of that seam. I mean, if I, it's kind of bulby right here where I tried to like push one into the other. I could sand that completely down, but I'm pretty sure I've had Magnum ice creams that were <laughs> not perfectly shaped. 
P.S. That's the best ice cream on the planet. Ooh, you're just starting with one. <laughs> oh, you don't agree? You don't think so? Oh, someone's going to come in and be like, Bluebell's the best. I know. It's difficult as a YouTuber to have any kind of opinion. Because everyone has one. And everyone thinks theirs is right. Which, it's an opinion, so it's whatever. Sorry about that, you guys. Um, I could get lost in their shop. I love our shops. So, um, the my grocery delivery person tried to call. They were like, I'm here. I was like, okay, cool. Here's my loft number. Um, those are supposed to be bigger. These are five grand. They're supposed to be ten grand. Um, so I'll order more of the proper size. Sorry, I'm just standing this right now. It's not the most fun thing to watch. Cujo, enough. That's awesome, Lisa. Enjoy your dad. Hi, Melissa. How are you? Cujo, go lay down. I'm just trying to work down the seam just a little bit before we move on. No, I didn't order any ice cream. However, I, at this point, I wish I would have since we were talking about it. I don't want to use any rougher of a sandpaper because I don't want to leave any marks. You know, I'm going to take one of these clay things and just bring this side down so that it looks like it's supposed to. I wish the design went all the way around, but it's whatever. That's looking a little bit more like it. Have y'all ever worked with plaster Paris or clay before? So I'm trying to carve out. Which one take? Wait, just a second, because we already have the other side done. I think we're going to put Midnight Mermaid on this one. What do you guys think? Oh yeah, Susan, I forgot that you work with clays. Fun fact, my art degree was in wheel thrown ceramics.
Cujo. Y'all. Of course it's okay, Susan. I would love to see it. Baby Moo, calm down. to see Susan all righty all righty now we got everything smoothed out and it looks like a for real ice cream bar. I love it. Okay. I'm gonna get a new piece of paper because this is spent. We'll start with the So actually, just as before, we're gonna need to make it black. Cujo, lay down. because my little Cujo is in the kitchen huffing at me because he wants a treat right now. Not in a minute, not later. Not, okay, I'm on my way to get that for you right now. Like. He wants things on his terms. He can't be the only one. I'm sure you guys get it. love resin dioramas. Rightly so, same. I missed some bits. I'm not going to try. This video is going way longer than I thought. Thanks to you guys that are sticking it out with me. Huh? Oh yeah, don't forget to like. Tudor, if you get up anytime soon, will you get Cujo a piece of jerky? That is what he is making a bunch of ruckus for. kitchen it's in a black jerky bag with red yeah there should be some scissors in there because I have to cut them into like basically because him's only got like four teeth okay we're gonna let this dry for real for real uh so <laughs> he's gonna hate me for saying this, but Jeff's nephew came over to go to that art convention thing or whatever. 
I think he got two pieces of that jerky down before I was like, um, that's not for human. He was like, I mean, uh, it was good. I'm not gonna test it though. Uh, well, thank you, Melissa. We love having you here. All right. What did I say we were gonna do with this one? If the other one's gonna be Midnight Mermaid. I can't remember. What did we say we were gonna do with this? Maybe I'll make a, um, we'll do this. Um, we'll show you what Grumpy looks like with it being on white instead of black. How about that? Yeah. <laughs> Didn't work? Hold it off. Okay. So we're gonna see what this looks like on white as opposed to black. So much easier when it's got a popsicle stick. This has so many angles on it. I'm trying to spray it from many angles so I don't miss anything. Alright, now we gotta let this get dry. But you can see that it has that shift where bits of it look purple and bits of it look green. It's just not as visually interesting in my opinion. I mean, it's still pretty, just not as amazing as the one on the black background. Cujo, you do not need another present. Um, it's called Grumpy. is by Too Faced. You can get it on our website, artistilldeath.com. I think I want to spray Grumpy over this pink. What do you guys think? Ujo. It's got some color changiness to it. And of course, we'll make a matching puddle.
fat boy. So, now let's make this one. into Midnight Mermaid. Ooh, Susan, that sounds awesome. I'll definitely do that. I think I'm gonna stone one too. Maybe I'll stone that pink one. I need to let this one dry just a little bit longer. So while that's happening, I'm gonna make my tunnels. So for this, I'm going to use this uh, silicone mat that TG got for us a while back. Have Jeff take a bite, bite out. Is he trying to talk you into more treats? So that's Cujo's way of indicating to you where it is that the thing that he wants is located. He thinks he does, and he is not going to stop. I'm a horrible parent. I give them whatever they want. Puddles. We gotta start with water, just like we did earlier with our popsicle shapes. Also, you guys, I have gotten so much feedback on these popsicles, like people wanna buy them. And anytime there's an interest in something, I like to share with you guys so that you can profit off of the hype that's out about something. Sounds like tutors being well trained. Uh, Cujo's got him wrapped around his tea tiny paw, I think, which he's got most everybody trained. I was trained at a very um, at his very young age. So it's still a little bit too thin. I don't mind adding more plaster because I want it to be more rigid and sturdy and not take forever to set up. So I'm just mixing in little bits at a time. And as soon as it's all incorporated, I'll add more until it's fairly thick. That'll be the last bunch of plaster I put in here, probably. That's because you're such an awesome person that you want others to profit off my ideas. To be fair, I'm not the first person to do a melting popsicle. I don't know if anyone else does it out of plaster, but I've seen these before in resin a long time ago. 
but yeah, if, if there's profit to be made, if people are responding well to a product, I definitely want to share with you guys because one, we're fam. That's what fam does. And two, there's enough people out there for everyone to be a successful artist, you know? I would never hoard ideas. Y'all have been awesome and have supported me, so I, I'm always down to help uplift and share my ideas with you guys. What? Tao Te Lim. Did I say that right? Hello? I hope I said it right. Hi, pretty boy. Go lay down. All right, now we're getting thicker. Which means I need to really work to incorporate that last scoop of powder. Okay. Dokey. I'm only gonna do like two puddles at a time. Okay. Those look like just funky pancakes, so I'm going to try to create some shape. Now I'm gonna let those set up and then we'll add the rest of the color to those. While that's working, we'll do, do this black. What was this gonna be? Oh yeah, Midnight Mermaid. These are so stinking fun to make. I just... The time crunch is not fun, but not impossible. All right. Don't want to get anything white on my black ice cream, so I'm taking the glovies off. I have the white powder on. Melissa says, fun fact, I absolutely love my ETD gloves. Need to order more. I have been able to reuse them multiple times. Hey, thank you for that. So awesome of you. Um, I'm going to spray the handle of this black. But that's not going to interfere with us. Um, moving forward with... Painting it. There we go. Dead gummit. Did it again. That is from. Oh, that is from. 
there being a little bit too much water still in the plaster when I spray painted it the first time. So I'm gonna take this over there. Uh, the medium and small gloves are on order. last two obstacles, which are which are the pink chameleon and the mermaid chameleon. So we'll put that over there, this over here. back on. So I have learned don't rush your paint drying on these. Um, I will have the small and medium ones soon. What? Low wheezy. See all this stuff in the air? You don't need to be afraid of this. Go lay down for your voice. Love you. You're perfect. Go lay down. You're beautiful. All right. Always do water first. According to the instructions. Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to do two batches. Because I have to turn turn it pink for that one. So we'll do a smaller batch and then another smaller batch. I'm completely out of gloves. I tried buying crap gloves. Any suggestions in the meantime? Um, a suggestion for what you can use instead of gloves? If I measured this properly before mixing them together, I would have a lot longer working time, but I don't math very well. So this two parts water, three parts plaster type of math, uh, that's gibberish to me. So I'm just doing it like as if I was making box pancakes eyeballing it. I love the Venom gloves, but they have been out for since COVID. the plaster I'm going to add and then we're going to make our puddle. I'm going to use wax paper, nope, butcher paper, shiny side up to do this because I don't have any other options. It's about there. I don't want to pour it out till it's in a little bit of a thicker state. so that 
it doesn't travel out too fast. This will be the puddle for our, this one, our chameleon. What is that, grumpy? Okay. Pujo, you don't need any more. Leave it. He's arguing with me. Make it look a little puddly. So now I'm gonna put the popsicle stick in. And then I'll write this. That's enough, Moo. Leave it. Don't lay down. Well, thank you, Clara. Now we're gonna make the puddle for our pink popsicle. That was a pretty good amount on this one, so we're gonna try to do that. And I'm gonna pre-mix in the paint into the water because it was really hard to mix it in last time. The paint I'm using is Mixed Media Girls Pouring Paint. This color is called Electric Pink. I'm using this paint because it's more liquidy than just a tube paint because it's ready to pour. And in my head, it was gonna be easier to mix in, which doing it the way I just did it, it was easier. Cujo, enough. He's insatiable. This is most likely gonna be way more than just a puddle. So whatever's left over, I'm gonna pour into my ice cream scoop mold. Lisa, didn't I just send you a shipment of something? You could have told me you needed gloves. I don't have many, but I could have sent you a couple here. It's currently way pinker than my popsicle. Huh? Um, yeah, yeah, so that's closer. If you guys are new here, hi, thanks for watching. Uh, we usually do resin stuff, but today we're doing plaster and chameleons.
Can someone text Jeff and tell him I'm live? It's way chunky. Cujo, leave it. Are you guys trained by your dogs or is it is it only me that's trained by their dog? I'm hoping to pastel it out before it gets too thick, but I don't think it's gonna work. Maybe I should have just added a little bit of white paint. Thank you. I'll use some airbrush paint. This is Createx White Opaque. That is the color. But judging by how whipped it's getting right now, I'm not gonna have time to make it exactly that color, so we're just gonna have to paint it. Cujo. I'm sorry, I have to keep getting onto him with you guys here, but he will keep on actually not enough to fill that ice cream. All right, let's take this and get the other one back. How fun. And then this one. We can go ahead and do this one because it takes no prep. I just have to spray it. Okay, so let's do that. back out. Put a little bit more grumpy in there. I am probably having way too much fun. He's going to come home and be like, why does it look like we just opened a candy shop in the house? And I'm going to be like, because we did.
my spraying that out dry. I don't understand. this one so this is grumpy as well let me take this and set it in the kitchen what's next this guy Okay, so now we have to do the rose gold to match the rest of what we got going on here. Hi, baby. I know the geometric one's super fun. Is it dry or oh, it's a uh, it's liquid. I mixed our powder with an airbrush medium that's fairly clear. Well, that was rude. Come here. <laughs> so the medium, I'm pretty sure it's by Golden. It could be from Createx. Uh, I was looking for it a second ago, but I can't seem to find it. But it's it's in a medium that looks kind of like this. It's translucent. This is not it, but it looks kind of like this. And you mix the powder into it, and then you can airbrush with it because it's super thin medium. Well, they don't brush it, boy. You gotta do this, and you don't want to get sticky, okay? this 3M Super 77 to make this area sticky and then I'm going to apply my gold foil that I have already applied to this part to the rest of it that's the plan anyways we'll see trying my best to only get the puddle well, that's going to be impossible pretty sure I'm going to give it a couple seconds to get tacky yeah, it doesn't take a lot of Too Faced to make a nice impact at all. So it doesn't take long for this to get tacky enough to start adding to, but I want to make sure because I don't want to ruin my brush. And by my brush, I mean Jeff's brush because he um, will pout if I ruin it. Oh yeah, for sure, Susan, it would be way easier to do it at the same time. And I would have um, if I wasn't doing it live. But I was so excited to show you guys what it would look like with the paint on it that I kind of just jumped right to that instead of being smart. <laughs> I hit it with a little bit of air to help it get tacky a little bit faster cool all right so this is dusty rose foil which is what i have on the ice cream part already and i'm just going to dust it on every time you guys that i do anything with leaf my cats come out of hiding Just like on the 
top bit, I'm not going to try to really varnish it in just yet. I'm gonna just kind of dab everything down first. No, Cujo. You guys probably can't hear him whining at me, but I can, and I just don't want you guys to. have to listen to my very demanding little boy dog. So this, in this jar is two grams of foil. It'll go a pretty good little ways. worry about you guys um well not most fam most fam understand the dynamic with Cujo my little wheezy but some won't and so I worry This is going to look so good. I stand by what I said. It's going to be in very many baby girl nurseries. Get these little edges. I'm just gonna start varnishing it in now and everything that I push from the varnish out is gonna cover these edges. It's just easier that way. And it'll fall into anything that um, I didn't cover. If you want to try to save um, some of this foil that you're kind of brushing off, I would recommend picking this up and putting it on another sheet before you start to dust the, the foil off because it's going to stick to the paper because it has the overspray from the spray, spray adhesive on it. Jeff's going to love this one, too. try to get some back into this jar. Hey Susan, no worries. It'll be posted so you can catch up whenever you would like. I'm still so impressed by how it kind of melts into itself and doesn't look like a whole bunch of tea tiny pieces of foil. It 
looks a little bit more cohesive than what you would think having so many different little particles and fragments of a foil. It's a pretty big puddle. Have, if I had the opportunity, well, I'll do this again and the next one I won't have quite so big of a puddle, I don't think. Just kind of got away from me on this one. Can you guys hear him coughing and huffing in the background? And honking? Clara knows that's his I want a treat and I want it now sound. Bye, Clara. You're going to love him, Lisa. All right, Clara. It's a cat thing. Don't try to figure it out. Gotcha. Lisa says he has a real medical condition, but he's also learned how to use a little moo cough to get what he wants. Dude. Couldn't have said it better myself. Looks like an ice cream award. It does. I think it's cute. Um, this is a number six, Danny Yong. I am sure I messed that up, paintbrush. But um, you can use just a fluffy makeup brush as well. Good job, he knows. Obsession. Now we're going to spray the Dalmatian Obsession on the bottom of this pink one. Make it match the top of it. Oh no! I went too hard in the paint and it chipped. It's still very soft. It hasn't hit the 30 minute mark yet. But... Lucky for us, this is solid pink, and so I can just sand it down. done. The pinks are a little bit off, but oh no, it's my fingerprint.
Could you make a real man? No. You could probably make one out of that bucket with this, like. I would probably could. Like, if you just trace this, make a blob that fit, mm -hmm. you know, we in there. What you got going on? Um, I'm just airbrushing chameleons on top of some of these. Oh, you're airbrushing, huh? I thought, I thought that was outside. I thought there was like some construction going on. Yeah, I thought that was outside. Yeah, there's some What's next? What's next? This is next. This one's gonna be Midnight Mermaid. Hope you're feeling better today, Joe. I should probably go ahead and make the puddle. Yeah, let's make the puddle first. I'm sorry. Okay. Now Peter's sitting in his house, puffing on me. Okay, here we go. Puddle. Black puddle. All right. This will be real quick. We only have two popsicles left to finish. They're both chameleon. We're here if you need anything. He helped me put orders out until he decided to fall asleep on the job. Do you send that to Tudor? Still too soupy, so we're going to add a little bit more plaster. For the kids who are late to class, what are you mixing? So this is Plaster of Paris. Um, I don't know if there's different kinds. I'm sure there is. Enough. But you just put water in a cup and you mix plaster into it. It says to do something. Two parts water to three parts plaster, but I'm just feeling it out because numbers are hard. Just 
just about ready. Actually, I should probably go ahead and pour it before it gets too set up. Okay, Miss. Right. Now, where's my hat? Okay, so I'm gonna hold it in its place for just a minute. I have it wonky. Oh, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Trying to find something to. Oh, here we go. Nope. Nope. All right. I'm just gonna hit it with some. Um, cooler air just to get it to start setting. You don't want to heat it like super fast. Then it might crack. I like that angle. This one, it's got grumpy on it. Touch his boy, go lay down. All right. brush this on if you wanted to, but uh, I'm going to say it's way easier to just airbrush it. I need to do two layers, I think. May make the the stem. Nope. I may do it the stem and gold. What do you guys think?
don't know which one of you guys said it, but I think you're right. This is a great like display of what the chameleons can look like. Thank you, Joe. Dry that up. It won't take just a second. And then I'm going to do a spray with a gloss on it. And it'll bring out the colors a little better. If you guys are new, sorry about that. If you guys just got here, this color is called Grumpy. It is a Too Faced Chameleon available at artistilldeaf.com. If I had more time, I would have smoothed that out a bit, but. I think it shows off even better than the cars too. What do you think, Dee? I know, the pedal's not cute. I tried to pick this up a little too soon. That's okay. I will just gorilla glue that sucker down. I know, but it's okay. I don't need the gloss anymore. I need the Gorilla Glue. That's fine. All right. I'm going to use Super Glue to get this to stick. Oh, 
How long does it take for super glue to do its thing? Bonds in seconds, we'll see. Sweet. Thank you, Loctite, for uh, rescuing us in the clutch. get too excited with what you're doing you don't really think about it in the most logical way okay silly girl I like the imperfection because it makes it look more real I agree I find beauty in Imperfect things. I'm glad I'm not alone. Alright, I'm gonna spray this dry and then we're gonna add our Midnight Mermaid. But I'm not gonna touch this thing anywhere other than on the stick so it doesn't pull the paint off. If you guys do this at home, Let your plaster dry overnight or something like that so that your paint doesn't come off like mine did. I wish I had a lazy season, <laughs> like one of those big weighted ones one day. It is supposed to look messy. I have, I'm trying to do better about turning off my, like the obsessive part of my brain that wants things to be like perfect. And it's not easy to do. The luckiest girl in the world comes home from a hard day of work and asks if he can cook something for me. He's the best. Do what? Okay. Oh, I just haven't gotten a chance to put all the groceries away. I know, I need to get one of those weighted turners. Okay, here we go. You got yours at Walmart? We'll look into that. Okay. We have our popsicle. Our paint is dry. So we're going to use this. I'm going to use this synthetic one. 
Super 77, and Midnight Mermaid. It's also a blue purple shift. All right, I'm gonna try to do this just a side at a time. I don't know if that's gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. Well, actually, it takes it a minute to dry it anyways. Doesn't look cute right now, but it will. That's what she said. Yeah, that's what I say every day. Mm. It'll look cute right now, but it will. Mm. Uh, Joe, are you asking what brand the Midnight Mermaid is? It's Too Faced. You can get it on our website. All right, here we go. Maybe I should like do some of this. Try and get everything covered before we really get into rubbing the foil into the background. Nope, into the base. you with a paintbrush. What's up, Toots? It is, is this Mardi Gras? Yeah. yeah. What color is that? The Night Mermaid. work with gravity instead of against it. Anytime you can work alongside gravity instead of against it, highly recommend.
This is gonna look so great, you guys. about to break that. Okay, I need to do this bit. Trying to not waste anything and pick up some of this fallen pigment. I'm so excited about this one. Okay. I'm going to try to get some of this dusted off and varnished off and back into this little jar that it comes in. No promises. I love this one. I might keep this one. So right now I'm just kind of varnishing or dusting or rubbing the pigment into the sculpture to make it look a little bit less seamless and to save any of the pigment that's kind of dusting off. Um, I would recommend when you do this part to probably wear a respirator because breathing any thing other than air is not recommended by um, the World Health Organization, probably. Sorry I offended you, but I was trying to get this done before my spray adhesive dried. I hope your day gets better. You definitely don't need to use as much paint as I did. But it's not paint, it's a foil. I was just trying to get it on there before my adhesive dried.
This is gonna be my favorite one of forever. I can already tell. <gasps> oh my goodness, I thought I was gonna drop it. Let's turn the flash off so you guys can see what looks like over here. How crazy is that? You can see all the green, the blue, the red, and the yellow, depending on how you're holding it. I love it. What do you think, Bowie? What do you think? Yeah? Me too. All right. Let me get Bowie down and I will show you guys all of the ones we've done. Come up, up, up. Okay. So, am I going to do this? Okay. If I drop this, I'll be the saddest person on the planet. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Let me move my ID because y'all don't need to know about me. Except y'all already know everything. All right. I'll turn the flash back on for this bit. So that's a chameleon. It's not going to look as good with the flash on. That's one without the puddle. This is a bigger flake one. That's a chameleon, but you're not going to be able to tell with the light on. We've got gold. This one. Pink one we just did. The white and chameleon we just did. The rose gold that we just did. This one is actually resin. It's uh, gotten dirty since I did it, but that was a quick coat. So, 